today, Rinpoche continued his explanation of praise of dependent origination by Lama Tsongkhapa. Rinpoche pointed out the importance of meditation upon dependent origination and showed us how it is the essence of the Buddha's teachings. Page two. Tendisumbi uh, the 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 Jutsend the Jabajisan. Jibra <coughs> Kanshi Chanton 
Okay, dig some. Okay, so we're looking at um, Lama Tsongkhapa's In Praise of Dependent Origination. Uh, and uh, we're then using uh, the Andu, the Kepa Ming Yanju Suna, sent. Juno, Juno. Juno said the Andu Lumbaji Miro. Juno. Juno Jesun Taba Jesun Taba Shidus. Jesun Taba Shidu Kung Sain Jerova. Juno Andu Lumbaji De. Rapa Jetson. Taba Shidus, Taba Shidu. Drop a shidru, drop a jetson. Drop a shidru, shidru. Okay, drop a shidru. When you send the delpa, the ming momo, and then the kongit sengare. Okay, so we have a commentary by Junu Jetson, uh, drop a shidru. Um, and he's a, a great master from the Amdo region. Um, and it's quite an extensive commentary. It's actually 60 pages um, in, in the Tibetan. Uh, um, so it's pretty extensive. And um, so the root text is by Lama Tsongkhapa. Uh, and then this commentary is uh, by this Amdo scholar. Um, so we find that in the beginning of this text, uh, there is an uh, um, outline that's presented by this uh, scholar. And at first it says the um, praise uh, praise uh, to Buddha Shakyamuni uh, for um, teaching dependent origination, which is the essence. And then the, the second part is, um, uh, I didn't see this at the top at home, so I'm just kind of, the rest of it I translated, but I didn't see this part at the top. And uh, um, then the second part is in the Rimache, the the Detsi Shiranan, Dendra Sheba Dembi Nimpor Demba, the Ne Kamba the Tomason, the dictionary page the the Dondagare, uh Dendra Sheba Dembi, Nimpor Demba, Dendel, the the Dondagare, the Ni Desi Shiranan. The Dendagi Ta Saji Sheba in Sat Tom Saji and do to be on the tennis on the Dembaji Do Dembaji Tombi Ju sent the Goang Saji Niji Ta Tombu ทบิโอบลาเตนเดซุมบุกุนเตบาตะลาเนจุเจจุกุนตัวเตนบาเจบะเชบาเดเดซอบุดุยเนเดดอนดะกาเรเดเดนเดเชบาดอนบีญิม
Less so. Okay, so when we look at the commentary on the praise of dependent origination, uh, we'll find that there is, a, in most commentaries, a large outline. Um, so the beginning of this outline, uh, we find that the, the first category is a praise to uh, Buddha Shakyamuni for teaching dependent origination, which is the essence of the teachings. And so when we look at dependent origination, we know there's the two types of dependent origination, dependent origination of causes and conditions, uh, and dependent origination of establishment. Um, so we have these two types of dependent origination. And then the second category is the reason for um, uh, this, um, this teaching, so the, or the reason for this praise, the reason why this praise was done. Um, so uh, this is the t first two categories. And then it says the first category has three. Um, so the first category has three. First is the expression of worship. The second category is a more extensive explanation. And then the third category is the summary. Um, so the first category, which is the expression of worship, is, uh, reads the following. He who speaks on the basis of seeing, this makes him a knower and a teacher unexcelled. I bow to you, O conqueror, you who saw dependent origination and taught it. Uh, so this, uh, I'm so sorry. So this uh, particular stanza um, is showing the greatness of Buddha Shakyamuni and in, in, uh, um, give, uh, giving praise uh, to him. It says, he who speaks on the basis of seeing. Buddha Shakyamuni had a direct perception, direct valid cognition of the nature of reality. So it's stating that his pronouncements are from direct valid cognition, from the basis of seeing, from an actual seeing. This makes him a knower and a teacher unexcelled. Because of this direct valid cognition, he is the highest teacher, he is the highest knower. Um, he has the, the quality of omniscience, so there is no quality higher than omniscience. Uh, um, and as far as the teaching, uh, he has direct perception of the nature of reality, so he is unexcelled. There is no higher. It says, I bow to you, O conqueror, you who saw, so again, the basis of seeing, had a direct perception of dependent origination and taught it. Uh, so this is the first category. Um, which is the expression of worship. It should be less confusing from here. Dig some room, Che. That Tomu Chiji Jugune, Chiji Jugundo Tabato, the Kanji Zizi Sombaye, Chantan Tomala Name, the Ordinary Jabaju, Zizi Tomatala Dues, or the Kitangu Ares, that it's indeed all Malayan Dua, turned out. Kanji Kanji Zizi, she so sure look at Chiki turned this. Chujujugunanduba Dajila Tembitendiniquayoro. Uh, so we have two types of dependent origination. So uh, um, when we read through this uh, again, it says, He speaks on the basis of seeing. This makes him a knower and a teacher unexcelled. I bow to you, O conqueror, you who saw dependent origination and taught it. Um, so here, this is speaking of, of Buddha Shakyamuni and his direct perception of uh, this dependent uh, origination. And when we speak of dependent origination, there are two types of dependent origination. First, dependent origination of causes and conditions, and then dependent origination of establishment. Uh, so these are the two types of dependent origination which were taught uh, by uh, um, Lord uh, Shakyamuni Buddha. And when we look at um, uh, these two different uh, points, uh, the dependent origination of causes and conditions is necessarily an impermanent uh, phenomenon. 
Uh, so causes and conditions are only applied to phenomena that is impermanent, momentary. Uh, permanent phenomenon falls under the category of dependent origination of establishment. Um, and there's other words to use, but we're going to use establishment. Um, uh, dependent origination of establishment um, it replies to the permanent phenomena. Okay, dig some Rinpoche. Tende and Tembalan <laughs> Uh, so this first um, stanza is what uh, the commentary is going to comment on at this point. And this first stanza again reads, He who speaks on the basis of seeing, again this is uh, referring to Buddha Shakyamuni, this makes him a knower and a teacher unexcelled. I bow to you, O conqueror, you who saw dependent origination and taught it. Um, so this is speaking again uh, directly to Buddha Shakyamuni, uh, who is here conqueror, is referring to uh, him. Uh, and this is a prostration uh, to Buddha Shakyamuni uh, because of his excellent quality of having a direct valid cognition uh, of dependent origination. And because of this, this makes him uh, the highest knower um, there is because the uh, um, highest subject to know is dependent origination. And he is the highest teacher because no other teacher uh, gives this explanation of dependent origination. Um, so there is no higher teacher and there is no higher knower because there's no subject higher to know and there's no subject higher to teach. Um, so this is the point uh, that's made here. And then it says, because of this, I prostrate to you, Shakyamuni, you who saw dependent origination uh, and taught it. Okay, Digsung Rinpoche. What <laughs> So this expression of worship is being uh, made uh, to these excellent qualities that Buddha Shakyamuni, who is a conqueror, uh, possesses. Uh, so Rinpoche said this commentary is uh, very good because it's quite long. Um, uh, so uh, um, Rinpoche is reading through the entire thing, and I'm, you know, and he's picking points, and I'm translating that because it wouldn't be possible to translate sixty pages in their entirety without a year. That's 
Um, so what is the reason for this expression of worship at the beginning of a text? And the reason for it is to generate uh, merit, because when one generates merit, uh, you are accumulating virtue, and by accumulating virtue, virtue uh, leads to happiness. Um, in the beginning of the Abhisama Alamkara, uh, we find this expression of worship or expression of homage uh, being made to the, the three vehicles, the hearer, solitary, realizer, and the bodhisattva vehicle, where it says, uh, that which through the exalted knower of all, uh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, um, expression of worship to the three knowers, um, that which uh, through the exalted knower of all leads here is seeking pacification to peace which through the exalted knower of paths causes those helping migrating beings to achieve the aims of the world and through the perfect possession of which the subduers set forth these varieties having all aspects to the mothers of the Buddhas as well as the host of hearers and bodhisattvas I pay homage. Uh, so we find this expression of worship um, at the beginning um, of uh, uh, the Abhisama Alamkara. Then Rinpoche, the the Tambo uh, Shuju, Nipa, Jepa, Sheba, the Nipa Kabargut Sogudu, Ale, Nipa Dupin. Nipa do the Sumba Sumba go to Chinia Battle Dua. Okay. Nipa Nipa Jeba Sheba La, Tubi Jusenta. Okay. Tuba Mosu Sajini Jeba. Okay, okay. Jeba Sheba the La, Tubi Jusenta, and the Shaja Shaja Mandakarsa, Tendu Sumba Gun Tubi Jusen. Jusenka and Kashi Tonyu Taduba, Tangent Deber and Joan Son, Tesulo de Dembaye, Tangent Deber and Joan Yulan, Church Dembi Nanito, Chetakon to Chumin Jurus, Wategay, and Tubby Jusen, Tubby Jusen, Marbe, Tubby Jusen. Tendish of a Tabby Himbutan Batro, Tendish of a Tabby Himbutan, 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 Tendu 
ก็ละกันเยกีชุนะเดบมารุบะทงซุนาชุนะเดบมารุบะทงซุนาอันเดบะดุบะเดนซิดุนกะเรสทาบะดุมาเยเมเชซุนาทาบะดุนซิจิล
and uh, mistake in, uh, in a dark room a rope for a snake and believe that it's a snake, the only thing that will undo that misapprehension or this mistaken view that believes that it's a snake is the true non-mistaken view that it is a rope. Uh, once you're able to state that that is a rope, um, then you no longer grasp at it as being a snake because the mistaken view is no longer there. Likewise, when one grasps at things as being truly established, when one then is able to no longer grasp, I'm sorry, when one sees that things are not truly established because they are dependent, because they dependently originate, then that becomes like the, the knowledge that the rope is a rope and not a snake. Um, it gets rid of everything that comes with that mistaken view. When one views a rope as a snake, one has fear and so forth, that's gone once you know it's a rope. When one grasps that thing is truly established, various negativities arise, they are gone once one realizes that they are not truly established. Um, so this is, it says, uh, um, uh, whatever degenerations there are in the world, the root of all these is ignorance. So it's that ignorance of grasping. You taught that uh, you taught that it is dependent origination, the seeing of which will undo this ignorance, will get rid of this ignorance. So how can an intelligent person not comprehend that this path of dependent origination is your the uh, the essential point of your teaching? Uh, Tanjine Gubachin, you have a tea tall Marie to say to what the woman you were in the Sun Tabrim with the Mutu and Malinji Sula, Talishon, Louis, Tonjin, Dan and D, you to Tushine, Nanju by Dan Gubashes. What to talk about the other day? Or tell you, uh, so how similar this is to the quote we see in, um, uh, Chandra Kirti's uh, entrance to the middle way that says, perceiving that all faults and all afflictions fro flow from the idea of the transitory composite and knowing that its focus is the very self, this self is what the yogi will disprove. Uh, so it says uh, here, uh, um, perceiving that all faults and all afflictions, etc. And here, whatever degenerations there are in the world. So Rimache is saying we can see how similar these two quotes are when we compare their meaning. Digson. So the root of cyclic existence is this grasping at uh, true establishment. So the dependent origination um, becomes that which gets rid of the grasping at true establishment, becomes a, a correct sign or reason which is able to allow you to abandon the grasping at things as being truly established. If we looked at it in terms of uh, uh, <coughs> a syllogism, but in terms of its uh, subject, uh, uh, the statement reason, um, we would say the subject, I, is not truly established because it dependently originates. So it's because of this um, ease that we state that dependent origination is the king of reasons for emptiness, is really the king uh, of reason. Dig some Oh, uh, so then uh, the second part, um, 
So how can an intelligent person not comprehend that this path of dependent origination is the essential point uh, of your teaching? So this teaching on dependent origination is something that is an uncommon teaching. It's something that Buddha only taught. Uh, it's something that it, um, makes uh, his teaching higher than other teachers. Uh, it's how we establish that. Um, and, and here we see uh, um, the essential point of your teaching. Um, so we see that that is what differentiates the Buddhist teaching. So that's why it's pointed another reason for it being an essential point of the teaching. And Rinpoche said, B below there's more explanation, meaning in this commentary there's more. Jidenna Kazakhdanzi Tendi Samankaji Jayu, Tenjin de Banjoa, Sons Horse, Chuna de Batubas with Tanzita, Kazak Dazi, the Chuji Dazi won't be taught there, and a Jawash Ajaman would like Tendi Sombaris, Tendi. Well, sir. Tendi images in Chuna de Marubaris, Sombaris, Tenjin de Banjoa, Sons Horse. The Toga, the Jig Den, Ugupa, Sotsi, Su, Jepa Ni, the Ni, Kansak. Dazin, dang, chu dazin, the knee? 
Tene so, all right. So, uh, going back, uh, so there are eight, um, when we look at these two stanzas, it makes for eight sentences. Um, uh, and eight sentences uh, that show uh, the degenerations of the world. Um, so we find uh, the degenerations of the world and how, how they are um, how they are conquered, and we find that there are eight uh, sentences there. Um, and when we look to uh, what the root of um, cyclic existence and suffering is, so when we look at uh, degeneration, whatever troubles there are in the world, um, we could also say degenerations, negativities, such as the suffering of birth, aging, sickness, and death, all of these arise from uh, the grasping at things as being truly established. And when we look at this commentary, it says there are uh, two, uh, two things. There's grasping at phenomena as being truly established and grasping at the persons uh, as being truly established. So phenomena and persons as being truly established. And by having these graspings, we then um, create cyclic existence. Uh, so the root of cyclic existence is that. Um, so this is why we then can go back and state uh, that the uh, teaching on dependent origination is really the essence of uh, the Buddha's teachings um, because it is how one gets rid of cyclic existence. Um, so. Uh, when we uh, then we look at these two graspings, grasping at phenomena as being truly established, and grasping at um, a person or the uh, kansak as a being, or the being as being uh, truly established, just like the um, rope. Um, analogy where we come into a dim room and see a rope and think it's a snake the only thing that can get rid of that mistaken view is the understanding that it's a rope likewise this ignorance uh, which is the root of cyclic existence uh, can only be undone by the wisdom which recognizes that phenomena are not truly established and persons are not uh, truly established. Um, so that's essentially what it says. And who, um, who was able to see this? Buddha alone uh, was the only one who was able to present this uh, and present a way uh, to undo uh, cyclic existence. So this profound teaching uh, was, a, was a teaching given by one who directly perceived the subject matter. Um, so it's establishing um, that this is why it's the essential teaching. It's the essence of the Buddhist teaching. Um, uh, it's says Maripa, and it uh, it's what gets rid of. Uh, it is the uh, uh, it is the king of uh, dependent dependent origination is like the king that gets rid of one's ignorance or the, that uh, subdues. It's like the king that subdues one's ignorance. Um, so. Uh, dependent origination is said to uh, be the uh, king of reasoning, um, and Dixon. Oh yeah, woman, you will teach it. Then you will be in the tongue and talk that you will be. Then, then you can see the latin, eh? Tongue and talk that a cat who is. The shit then you will be in the tongue and talk that a you will be. What the sugar lady would do, that and the matati, Cindy would do, Cindy. Jitne 
Mariba so Buddha Shakyamuni is the one who was able to um, present, because of his direct perception of dependent origination, uh, this opponent to the root of cyclic existence. When we look at the troubles of the world, we look at the negativities, the suffering of birth, aging, sickness, and death, all of these come about by the mistaken view that grasps that thing as being truly established. The grasping at phenomena as being truly established and grasping at the person uh, as being uh, truly established. But once one has a direct perception of this profound uh, view of dependent origination, uh, the dependent origination of uh, uh, the doctrine, I see. But once one has a direct perception of the doctrine of dependent origination, uh, then one is able to get rid of uh, the ignorance uh, that um, drives uh, cyclic existence. So uh, one is able to abandon the uh, ignorance that drives cyclic existence um, by doing so. So it's very similar, uh, again, to that quote from Chandrakirti's where it says, all the troubles of the world arise from uh, this mistaken view. Um, all faults and all afflictions flow from the idea of the transitory composite, which is this grasping at things as being truly established. Uh, the only thing that gets rid of that is the understanding that things are not truly established, just like the analogy again of the rope and the snake. Understanding that it's a rope is the only thing that gets rid of the idea that it's a snake. Um, uh, so, and then Rinpoche said then we have some quotes uh, coming up from uh, Chandrakirti uh, and so forth. Uh, so we'll take a short break. Oh, <laughs> Jidinkubachinibatizo Tanadin <laughs> 
Shemayilas, the Conanilla Mom Mariba de Quizoja Ures, the Conanilla Mom Mariba de la Tower de Rabani Ures, the Long Tara Nile, the Toy in Oz, Toy in Oz, Toy in Oz, Tara Nil Gandaja Ursuna, Kazaka Dandit, Chi Dandit, Tara Nil Gandaja Ursuna, Jusela Tene. Ne chuna debatu bazi bi denzi ta jusen la matu ba ne nganga shushu ke debatu bi denzi ni yores jusen la den debatu bi denzi del denzi ku ta la re ta rabat res ne jusen la matu ba nganga shushu ke denzi ba tle denzi ne ji ta chaat res ku ta wa ta wa ta chaat ja wores o mi jong tu zulo ku ta ma yi song yo re ku ta wa ta ne ji ja wores ne ji ne jusen la matu ba ganga shuju ke daba ju banzi me de ji de ku to al ja guru matu jusen la ten ne daba ju banzi me de ji ta ban jusen la ten ten daba ju banzi me de ji de ane omar raju ba ta sanzo ba ta shira ma du du ba ju yo dro shira ba ju ju yo dro ta shira ba ju yo dro wa ane wa de jusen la ten daba ju ba de ji ku ta te yo dro wa Jusen la matu ba ganga shu yu gunen zi bi deban zi bi denzi de ne kuyu zao du wa te rez. De ne shema yi laas te la tara nyi le ne chao yi noos. Chun de ba du ba denzi la tara kuyu da te lhe ji nyi yue bi lhe ji de le jau gu rez. Chao yi no. Me shi ba ka ji shena ki ngwa bu la cha bi shena la danzi du du ba ne chi tru de rez. अने मैं मैं शेब खाजी के तंदर लोगों दो से था अने शना गंगोबल अच्छा भी सना यूरो सना अने गासु जुजालाल में भी सना यूरो सना तला अने दांजी दो के दो से सना दांजी इस के दो से था दांजी दो बन चे ट्रेड वो तो नया ट्रेड है देवा मारे सुनते था चे ट्रेड तला दांजी दो थे बच्चे जो चेने जे जो केल कहाँ ले जाए माशी भेज जना उनको बोला चाबी सनाते कहाँ जाके दांजी चुजी दांजी ते अने थे बात चीज़ जो पचा कहाँ ले सुनो ये मारे हैं कहाँ ले जाए माशी भी शेरस माशी भी शेरस आ डांडा करे हाँ आ डांडा करे मशीब मशीब खाजी खाजी कहाँ हो खाजी खाचे मशीब खाजी की जना की उनको बोला चाबी सनाते Danzin is a good doser. Ah, like Senna Danzin. Senna Danzin is. Ah, okay. Senna the Senna Danzin is a good doser. Danzin is a good doser. Ah, like. Then you're true to cheat. You're true to cheat. Lesser, okay. Okay. You're true to cheat. Okay, lesser. Senna la Danzin is a good doser. But Teba Chichun, Pesha Kangal Mundu doser. Then la Danzin is a good doser. Then you're true to cheat. 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 Okay. Kamba Shema, Kamba Shema, Jungwa Sumba, Sumba Wa Yue De, Jungwa Sumba Wa Yue De, Tendi La Tumu Ta, Tumu Ma Yimba Nyi Lez, Tenjin Te Ba Jungwa Sun, Jungwa Se Ate La, Tenjin Te Ba Jungwa Sun, Jungwa Se La, Tendi Tumu Ma Ta, Tumu Ma Yimba Nyi Kuchu Yo Ares, Ne, Tendi Tumu Ma Ta, Tumu Ma Yimba Nyi Le, Chashil, Chashil La Tendi Truba Ne, Tumu yu, cha shi la te ne truba ne, cha shi la te ne truba ne, Tumu yu, cha shi la te ne truba ne, Tumu yu te ne truba. Ishi pa nga pa rwa, niyo tu shi ya. Tumu yu te ne, jagi, chubi te. Can't 
Tendi so I just wanted to, I told Ramachan, I'm going to forget, there's so much material he just covered. Um, so when we look at ignorance, so in the text it says, what is this ignorance that we're speaking of? So we're saying it, it says, we're saying ignorance, so what is this ignorance? So um, when we look at ignorance, there are two types of ignorance. There's ignorance of uh, um, action, causes and effects, or karma and its results. And then uh, there is ignorance about the nature of reality. So when we look at what we're speaking of, when we say the root of cyclic existence, we're specifically speaking of the, um, the mistaken view of the nature of reality. So ignorance related to the nature of reality. Um, so we're not saying that it's karma and its results, um, because uh, karma and its results is something that we can't, through um, reasoning, establish, really. These are topics uh, that we can't understand until we actually have a realization of them, uh, whereas um, the dependent origination can be understood by analysis and so forth, and this, can be, this ignorance can be gotten rid of. Um, so this is the ignorance, which is really the root of cyclic existence um, when we're speaking of that. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Do, do. You're it. Yeah. That thing is the one you want to attend it, attend it tomorrow, the two more, my new audience. Yeah, okay. Two Nama Mambo love some children. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. The Maripa Ni. Uh, so we have uh, these two types of ignorance, and then the ignorance of the nature of reality is the ignorance which is the root of cyclic existence. Um, uh, so uh, this is what is established uh, here, um, and what the Buddha had uh, the direct perception of uh, was the nature of reality. Um, so this is the, it says, uh, the root of all these is ignorance. You taught that, uh, that it is dependent origination, the seeing of which will undo this ignorance. So it's the ignorance of the nature of reality. So the ignorance of the nature of reality can be undone by dependent origination. Uh, so that's the point that's made here. And then it goes on to say, when we speak of... Uh, uh, Dandel, dependent origination. Uh, there is common dependent origination uh, and uncommon dependent origination. So there are two types. Okay, Dixon, the Tomo, Dan Tomo Mayembi Ni. That means the Banjun should be tended to let any Tomo to Tomo Mayembi Ni or is. Ranga Chaji Latin Truba, Ranga Chaji Latin Truba there, Ranga Chaji Latin Truba there, and then. Tomuitendis, <laughs> Chasilla Toba Tanji, Jab, Tun Trubane, Tumuma, I intend to do this, Tumuma, I intend to make Tazan, to be Tazan to Tazan to Jabate, and then Tazan to Trubate, 
Uh, so when we look at the tenant systems, uh, there are four different tenets. There's the um, Great Exposition School, the Sutra School, the Mind Only School, and the Middle Way, and sub-schools within these schools. And they have, all of them have their assertions about uh, selflessness um, and about um, things uh, in general and about dependent origination. So each of them, these schools, have their own version of dependent origination and what the meaning of that is. Um, so here it says that there are these um, common dependent originations and then these uncommon dependent originations. And then the common ones are referring to uh, Rinpoche's, the, so the, the five aggregates and any established basis uh, or um, uh, normal phenomena. Uh, the un uh, common dependent origination is the nominal designation, um, dependent origination by way of imputation, or the nominal designation, which is exclusive to certain schools and not others. So uh, this is something that would be um, uh, considered a, a not common. The Rimache, the 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 Sensampi Dawa, the um, the Shilola the Chu Yomare, Chu Kanga the Sem, then the Tumo Mayimba, Denja, Sensapi Dawa the Dam. Sensapi Dawa the Dam. Chashila to be tender, Chashila to be tender. Sopola go, Conga may be Chashila to be tender, the Shirama, Dodaba, Sensapa, Oma Bajiga Kilero, Chashila to be tender, Chashila to be tender, the Totama Jiga Kilero. So these are, I, I have it correct. So these are the two types of dependent origination. The uncommon, which is this imputation, dependent origination, which is an imputation, a nominal designation, and then the dependent origination uh, which all four schools establish, uh, which is, um, of, Rinpoche said, phenomena and um, aggregates and so forth. So I'll look further into that, um, but I think it makes sense that these two types of dependent origination, those that are established by all schools and then those that are um, not, that are exclusive. I was trying to understand it better um, and ask if then the view of the mind-only school, that there's no external phenomena, is this considered an uncommon? But I think I just said it in a confusing way, so we'll look further into it. Kashi <laughs> Shibi Tangent 
Tejin de ben cuma tu bir lan dini lan dini. Gömbü çöci, şadaman bu da çöci. Den bir ne ne dağ. Hem bu tatu ne do, çöci tatu. Kondu çöba mancı de, çöga des. Tebeyce bu kondu çöba mancıros. Tebeyce bu kondu çöba mancıros. Teyhan kudde var şeyna. Kaci ne kaci şelha şelha var şeyla di çeto ne meşeşe mayga cüne ne dönüyor la şeba pamba jente şeba pamba jente tanda jela ya jawa şawo jela ya jawa şawo tomo da tomo mayı bitendi tu bi lande Tapi ni apa? Ni apa yang itu? Setin les, kau belum tahu. Tengen dapat jual, jual tengen dapat jual de jual ini. Songkin tuji, coba sama te. Sesung bah, sesung bisharos. Waktu batu lelak dua tadi na, tez mumu dua. Okay, ni ni de lagu, kan? De long, long ni, long som. Uh, okay, um, so uh, when we look at these uh, different uh, types of uh, dependent origination, uh, we can see that by meditation upon dependent origination, we're able to get rid of attachment, able to get rid of hatred, able to get rid of ignorance. Um, by doing so, we can get rid of with the root of cyclic existence, which is the grasping at true establishment. So it's this ignorance which we find to be the root of cyclic existence. And where do we find these points made? Um, and we find them in a couple of texts. We find it in uh, Nagarjuna's root wisdom text, the Mulya Madhyamika Karika, and we find it in Chandrakirti's um, entrance to the middle way, uh, the Madhyamika Avatara. So in the Mulya Madhyamika Karika, uh, Nagarjuna states, the cessation of ignorance occurs through exercising wisdom in meditating on this. This here in parentheses is referring to dependent origination. So dependent origination is really the king uh, of meditations in terms of um, getting rid of ignorance. And then in uh, Chandrakirti's um, uh, Madhyamika Avatara, uh, we find a quote that says, uh, and so things are produced dependently. The theories just mentioned cannot be believed. The argument that all arises in dependence cuts in pieces all mistaken views. Um, so here we see how uh, dependent origination is able to cut, it says, in pieces all mistaken views um, and get rid of all uh, those negativities. So once we get rid of the mistaken views, then that which comes up from them uh, is also uh, destroyed. Um, so that's uh, what is meant by that. So we have a quote from the Mulya Madhyamika Karika, uh, and then we have a quote from the Madhyamika Avatara, um, both showing how ignorance is cut um, by this uh, meditation upon dependent origination. Uh, and we see that there are these uh, common and uncommon dependent originations, but we do find the presentation of dependent origination given in all four schools, the Great Exposition School, the Sutra School, uh, the um, Mind-Only School, and the Madhyamaka School, or Middle Way School. Um, so uh, it says that uh, some uh, have mistakenly said that um, this uh, um, um, grasping at the eye or grasping at true establishment is miserliness. Um, but there, it says in this text, in, in the midst of it all, it says some will say that this grasping is actually miserliness. Um, but there's no texts, uh, it says Sena, but there's no texts that will support this um, and that the grasping at the eye uh, as being truly established is what uh, specifically is being referred to and it is not the same as miserliness. Uh, this, this thought of oneself all the time is different uh, than uh, the grasping that's being presented here. So it's just a point that's made that miserliness is not the same as this grasping at self. Um, uh, so the, the exact word is grasping at self. Grasping at self and miserliness are not uh, one and the same. There's some people would say this, but uh, there's nothing there to support uh, this. This isn't valid. Um, uh, so it doesn't fall categorically under 
um, any of these uh, types, that, anything that can be found. Um, and then we find another quote from Nagarjuna um, from the letter to a friend, and it says something like, um, I didn't see this before, that dependent origination, this, de this king, dependent origination, uh, is this Sungi Zhu Rimache, the She Ching Long, Dan Jing Jiaowa Zhong Di Jiaowa Yi Jiaopo Jiaowa King. Dan Jing Jiaowa Zhong Di Jiaowa Yi is Sungi Zhu Ji Jiaopo Samu Di is. You don't know that, right? Dan Jing Jiaowa Zhong Song Bei Dan Cha Cha Man Di Bu Da Yi Song Ba Di. And then Jawa Jungde Jawa the the Shacha Tupa um Shajaman Buddha Tendi Song or Tendi Tendi Song Tendi Song but the Shajaman Buddha Tendi Song but Jawa Yi and then Shajaman Buddha Yi Kanju non Mobuka non Sungi Nibunda in Hindu Matres. Okay. Jujji Jiba Samute Shesung Sharos. So in the letter to a friend, it says something along the lines of that the king is referring to Lord Shakyamuni Buddha's teaching uh, on dependent origination is the most profound. Again, it's meaning that it's the essence of or the pith of what the Buddha Shakyamuni uh, taught. <laughs> you find that in letter, uh, Nagarjuna's letter to a friend where it's saying it's the essence. It, it's the, here it says, Samo, the most profound um, it is a, uh, that is the most profound. Uh, so the king, that dependent origination, the, the Lord taught, is the most profound. This <laughs> Mutajubachi, <laughs> Tendijugunjibashibat <laughs> Okay. Uh, so um, now it says uh, number two. Um, so number two uh, is referring to um, when we go back to those categories. Well, first we said that this teaching on dependent origination is really the essence of the teachings, and then the second category, um, which is uh, the praise. Um, uh, that's a gateway of praise, the praise of this actual, the praise of the dependent origination. So it's just, so that's uh, number two, is the praise of dependent origination. There's some other flowery, uh, but it's really the, in terms of dependent origination, praise in terms of dependent origination. Uh, so that's where we are, number two. Do you know Shiba? 
Pomba Kaşı Gaba gaşı, ran gaşa kaşı, çünkü çoğba mefebe mega gizeni, düğra tutun yoru, düğra tutun. Gaba da gardu ki çabası, gaba da çoğba kadu duva çeni ta gure. Mahi gaşı na, anne ngay şebala meşesi lana şeba kukura vas. Tenna jeda kundu çümün çoğru zaydege, kundu çoğba da kukura et, tenna abu reyes. I'm having trouble with these two lines here. It's not a lot. I might just pass. Sopo la. Then shot japa the tsimu. The jawa gare. Mai gasa, mai gasa na mok chujin tsumu nyeme seme da kuj me japa shira re. Nyeme kong seso ama lo na seme seso ad kogura was. Getting rid of the the awareness of ignorance. I believe it's getting away, rid of the awareness of ignorance requires knowing that there is something unknown. I believe that's what it is. Requires knowing that there is something to that is unknown. So getting rid of it uh, requires knowing there's something. Just like if there is someone who is very large and fat, but doesn't eat during the day, you would assume they are eating at night. That's why I'm having trouble what those two connect with. Well, we're going to go over it again, I'm sure, so I'll look up some of these things that are stumbling me uh, so we can just move forward. Okay, Digsung Rinpoche. The Jemang Eselpozu. Oh, yeah, Tanyeba. Tebayashu 
so here um, this falls it says now category number two um, so it's that second category again um, that deals with uh, the praise the actual praise um, of dependence um, so of dependent origination um, so it says this being so who will find O Savior a more wonderful way to praise you than to praise you for having taught this origination through dependence um, so here um, the point that's being made here is that this um, teaching that it says uh, you is refer O Savior is referring to Buddha Shakyamuni uh, Buddha Shakyamuni's uh, teaching on dependent origination is the highest teaching that there is. Uh, so it deserves the highest, most wonderful praise. Um, it's deserving of the most praise because it's the uh, such, it has, it's of the utmost importance. I don't want to say the most important, but um, it's very important. Um, so it is deserving of. Uh, this praise. Um, so this is that second category, the actual, the praise of dependent origination um, right after the reason. I think it was the first was reason and then the second was the uh, actual praise. This no, no, it's that the one, it's the essence and then the actual praise. Sorry about that. Deekson. Then Tane Keba Sushi, Tene Joan Sombale, Jean Do, Mosa Chua Chuba, Chisinete, Neba Menuzos, Neba Menuzos, Mosa Chuba Chisinese, or what is in the Lady Mudue, Maiga Tagila, Chuji Somanimus, Emma said another, what if the double is not at that? Gombo Shajaman Buddha Chula, Tangent, the one you saw you going to do it with Jusen, Kondisheba Tempi Chimbola Soba, Kondisheba Tata Labate, Inas, Gombo Chula, Tubi Kutis, Shajaman Buddha, Turkey Mobile, Turbo Pigan Mobile Ares, Tubi Kutte, Tubi Nesson, Tone, Keba Sushi Ki, Keba Sushi Ki, Tene Yuan Sombale, Gentle, not a chawa, to be chasing yet near Maris, Shajaman, without a turbo none, I should attend this one to the race. Yeah, tell it, Jamie, tell it, have it to your Maris. Yeah, the Kanga Dunda, Kangasanga, Ingi K, your Marin, and seek Mambudu, 
ನನಗೆ ಇದು ಥಾಂದ ಖಾಂಗ ಝೂಗುಗುದು ಅಂದರೆ ಝೂಗೋನ ಅದೇ ಚುಚು ಚಿಕ್ಕು ಇನ್ನೇ ಇದೆ ಇದೆ ಕಾಲೆ ಕಾಲೆ ಗೊಂಬ ಚೇಲ ಡೆಂಜೆ ಸೋಂಬಿ ಗೋನೆ ತೋರಿ ಸೂಚಿ <laughs> ಸೂಚಿಗೆಬಾ ಚಿಶಿಂಗಲು <laughs> Uh, so here uh you don't have it in english but here it it, st- it goes to talk about buddha shakyamuni and these uh a rarity of the world he's called um so and the rarity of the world um and there are many uh buddha shakyamuni is the rarity of the world and there are many things uh that the buddha has to offer there are many explanations that have been given but there is no higher explanation than dependent origination there are many things that one can make offerings to uh many qualities that the buddha possesses but his teaching on dependent origination is the highest object of veneration the highest object to which we make offerings um because of its um uh qualities the, because of its qualities um uh, so there is no higher teacher there is no higher subject uh and this is why it is buddha is called the rarity of the world and this teaching on dependent origination uh is the highest uh and is able to um do the most be of the most benefit uh and most destruction to ignorance most destructive to ignorance dupa 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 na na papa so okay needs on the they on tende so they on tende so be gone to banes they on tende so be gone to bane to ba jen le chaba du pa bi ten des tende so be gone to ba de saja man na budwa le ಚಬಾತುಪಾಬರೆಸ್ತೋಬಾಯಿಸ್ತೋಬಾಯಿಸ್ತೋಬಾಯಿಸ್ತೋಬಾಯಿಸ್ತೋಬಾಯಿಸ
teaching and there's no higher teacher. Um, because this presentation uh, of dependent origination uh, is unsurpassed. Um, and then Rinpoche quoted the expression of homage from the um, Moya Madhyamika Karika. And if I have a second here, I'm going to be able to grab it. Um, Shatsilo. Okay, so it says in the Mulya Madhya Karika, I prostrate to the perfect Buddha. Shiro Tending as we from the Gune, Shajaman So share. Yeah. Um, so in the root wisdom text, the Mulya Madhyamika Karika, uh, we find uh, this expression of homage that also then shows the eight attributes of dependent origination. Um, so it says, I prostrate to the perfect Buddha, the best of all teachers, who taught that, uh, who taught that. That which is dependent origination is without ceasing, without arising, without annihilation, without permanence, without coming, without going, without distinction, without entity, and peaceful, free from fabrication. Uh, so these are the um, eight attributes, uh, they're called, um, of dependent origination, and they are the uh, ceasing, uh, without ceasing, without rising, without annihilation, without permanence, that's four. Without coming, without going, six. Without distinction, without entity. Uh, so these are the eight. So this is the expression of worship at the beginning of the Mulya Madhyamika Karika, which is Nagarjuna's root wisdom text. And why is this here? For the same reason that we presented before, in order to abandon all obscurations, in order to accumulate merit and accumulate virtue. Um, so it, the reason for this, uh, um, it, that's the intention, the, the reason um, for this uh, expression of worship at the beginning. And also it shows uh, uh, the content of the treatise. Uh, and we find um, this uh, um, a type of expression of worship in the um, refuge prayers as well, where we find these um, accumulations of merit. Rimche, the chutsu guyu, the karma guyu. Oh, yeah. That's the one that... Reba Drojubi in Jebal is... Reba Drojubi... Resu Drogun and Reba Drojubi... Drojubi... Reba Drojubi in Jebal in Jebal in Jebal. Kanga Chetan Jeeba, the Chuni Yindu Pongjubi, uh,
So that uh, we're going to end there. Uh, it's just Rimache just read um, the text. Uh, it'd be great if this text was in English. It'd be very beneficial. Um, there we have a lot of texts and praise of dependent origination, but none with texts like this. It's all. Um, and this is very beautifully written. Uh, so we're just going to table it. Um, it, it Let me go through. There's a quote from the the Ripa Dru Chupa. The Donegare Rimachi. Ripa Dru Chupa is Ripa Dru Chupa Marbe. It's a commentary. Kangi Chetan Jiba, the Chun Yutu Mojo, Tangent of Jonson, Tuanta Ladasha says, What do you read? Doesn't double double it. So Rimachi is saying there's a quote, uh, there's um, texts mentioned here that have the same presentation. So it says in here, it also says it in this text, in that text, in that text. So I'll have to look it up, but um, that's what Rimache is saying the point being made is. Uh, so we'll table this till next time. And uh, I'm going to take a breath. And uh, thank you all. Uh, we'll do the concluding mandala offering and dedication prayer. The fundamental ground is scented with incense and strewn with flowers, adorned with Mount Meru, the four continents, the sun and the moon. I imagine this as a Buddha land and offer it. May all sentient beings enjoy this pure realm. I dedicate whatever virtues I have collected for the benefit of the teachings and of all sentient beings, and in particular for the essential teachings of Venerable Ozandrapa to shine forever. I send forth this jeweled mandala to you, precious guru. Dedicate all this virtue to emulate the knowledge of the hero Manjushri and likewise Samantabhadra as well, with whatever dedication is praised as supreme by all the conquerors who traverse the three times. I also dedicate all my roots of virtue for the sake of auspicious deeds. In that pure land surrounded by snowy mountains, you are the source of all benefit and happiness. All powerful Avogateshvara, Tenzin Yatso, may you stay until samsara's end. I pray for the long life of the precious Kensar Wanda, upholder of scriptural and realizational doctrines, the spiritual friend who trained extensively in the five great philosophical texts, exceptional wisdom and perseverance. Tuji Ramachi Guti Shapi Denama.